say aloha to each of you. This is a special day because in Hawaii, my understanding is that when you have a little bit of rain on your wedding day, it means many children. <laughs> and there we go. So, there. Charles, as he's singing such a, a great song, but it's, it's blue skies of Hawaii, so that's what we're about to experience. But we, we had a little bit of the pineapple shower, the blessing. <laughs> And it is a reminder, in truth, of, of days yet to come, of uh, just the richness, the surprises that come along in life. And literally, when you find that person in life that says, I want to spend the rest of my days with you, what an amazing privilege. And so that's what we gather here today. So thank you for your presence here on this special occasion. I know your presence is here because of your love for Brian and Jamie and just wanting to celebrate with them. They didn't have to twist your arm much to come to Maui, though, did they? <laughs> now, who gives this woman to this man in marriage? I do. Wonderful. You give her a kiss, please. Right in the middle. That way. Oh. There you go. And then there's Jeremy. Well, welcome to Kapalua Bay. Uh, the island of Molokai is reappearing. And over the other place, uh, over in the other area, Lanai has disappeared. So uh, it's a beautiful, so beautiful setting for such an important occasion. Uh, but this particular beach is Kapalua Bay. It's it's a word that means arms embracing the sea. And I think that's also a beautiful description of what you two will do here today in this picturesque setting as you embrace your love for each other. Brian and Jamie, obviously your love does not begin here today. There's the moment in time when you first noticed each other. You remember that moment? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's wonderful stories behind that. But not to truth. be told here. <laughs> no. 
from that moment to now, you've been growing in love. But here today, you stand before your family, before your friends, before God, before each other, to share one of the most important promises of a lifetime. And you stand here hand in hand, but it's also a journey to experience heart to heart. It is a journey life to life. So a great beginning. In wedding ceremonies, in truth, it's a simple experience. You just repeat words to each other. That's easy to do. But it is living those words day in and day out that is so important. And so I want to encourage you in the busyness of preparing for this moment that we just relax and take in the beauty of what's accomplished here. We're surrounded by God's beauty, surrounded by the relationships that have so much interwoven who you are. But here today, take in this beautiful moment because it's a moment to last for a lifetime. A beautiful passage that describes love. You might be familiar with these particular words. The writer of this scripture says it this way, that if, if I have faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all that I possess to the poor, but have not love, I gain nothing. But then he describes love, and he writes it this way. He says that love is patient and love is kind. It doesn't envy, doesn't boast, it's not proud or rude, not self-seeking, not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Because love does not delight in evil. It rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. So Brian and Jamie, here today, I, I just want to encourage the two of you that from this day forward, it is that commitment of learning how to love each other. Now, the ways I think that helps is remembering to take time with each other, learning to restore each other's soul with loving words, learning to receive love from each other, whether it's raining or sunshine, whether it's good experiences or challenging experiences, but learning how to love. Now you are in an amazing setting to begin this journey of your life together. And in the journey of life, I think part of that mission is really in truth, learning to share the experiences of life together. Because as you do that, it helps to develop a strength and a security in the relationship that you have as husband and wife. And I think something else happens in this beautiful transaction, this covenant of love as well. It's just that wonderful awareness that everything that you love deeply really does become a part of you. So here today, I just want to encourage the two of you, Brian and Jamie, that you just commit yourselves freely and fully to this new experience of life together as husband and wife. And if that's your intention, Brian, would you indicate to us by saying I do I do. Wonderful. And Jamie, would you indicate as well by saying I do? I do. Wonderful. You know, in truth today, they will make a beautiful commitment to each other, a covenant that says that from this day forward, they'll walk together. And in journeying in life together, in truth, you discover so many roles that you share, and especially in this relationship, because as husband and wife, it's also the awareness that you are best friends, confidant, lover, listener, teacher. And on occasion, you'll even serve the role of critic of each other. That happens every now and then. Never. But that's why, it's never, <laughs> that's why it's so important to understand that this is a commitment of loving each other. Remembering to say, I love you often is so important, but also learning how to offer and to accept forgiveness. Brian and Jamie, if you'll do both of those well, loving and forgiving, you'll discover as wonderful as your love is today and where that registers in your heart and your soul, it will go deeper, it'll be stronger, be powerful as a result of that kind of love. And I believe that marriage is a beautiful gift from God because it's one of the ways that He expresses His love to us. Because what I've described in truth is a self-sacrificing love. That's the kind of love that lasts. And I know that's your longing. And that's the path to that kind of love. So here today, we celebrate with you. We'll encourage you in the years to come. If you ask our opinions, we'll want to encourage you to continue loving each other, nurturing the love that you have. And your marriage will be that wonderful match made in heaven, not only because of your love for each other, but also as you nurture and discover and enrich in the love that God has for you. And you do all of that together, you'll discover it to not just be the dreams of your life, but it really does become the rich reality of your life. And so for the privilege just to ask God's blessing here today on the two of you. And let's pray together, okay? So Father, I want to thank you for this beautiful afternoon and for... Brian and Jamie, their family and friends that have gathered here for such a special occasion. And I do pray your blessings upon them. The richness, the love that's evident here today, surrounded by that love, but also surrounded by your presence. And we just ask for your blessings upon their home, their new life, 
together from this day forward that you'll just continue to enrich and, and deepen what's established. Keep them in perfect harmony with each other and with you. And we pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 You know, there's so many traditions in marriage across the lands, but here in Hawaii, one of the beautiful traditions is the exchanging of the lei. And it's a tradition because it's a reminder. These flowers are very precious and very fragile. And I think it's a reminder that in this relationship that our words and our actions have tremendous impact upon the vitality of the relationship. And so guard this relationship carefully, nurture it, let it grow, treat it gently. And if you'll do that, you'll discover that it will thrive through the experiences of life. And so Brian, what I'd like for you to do is to take this leg and I want you to place it on your beautiful bride. And then after you do that, present her with a kiss on both cheeks, all right? I'll put it over there. Jamie, if you'll present this to Brian with a kiss on both cheeks. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Stand holding hands with the one you love most in life.